7.50 at KNEV and time for News Extra. But before we get to that, one more birthday to pass along. Jamie Stoll of Mitchell has a birthday today. All right, uh, our program now brought to you by First State Bank. Scott's Buff and Gehring, and here again, Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. It is 67 days, she says, to the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Old West Balloon Festival. Colleen Johnson is here. And uh, August 17th and 18th, right? Yes, sir. All right. And you've been working on this hard since first of the year? Well, I mean, what, once we were awarded nationals in December, we just hit the ground running. Yeah. So I've been definitely been working hard since January. All right. August 17th and 18th. You have uh, quite a few more balloonists already for this one, right? We have 30 balloons so far with a few more hopefully coming on board. Yep. And this is kind of the practice run for the Nationals in the next three years coming up. It is. Um, we will add a, a competition um, element to our Old West Balloon Fest this year, which is super exciting because it's a lot of fun for folks to watch. Um, Friday, they'll be launching from the field. And then they'll put in, um, it's called a hare and hound. So they'll have a balloon that's the, the hair, and it'll take off and land and put out an X, and then the, the balloons will fly to the X and score. But the neat thing is on Saturday, um, the, some balloonists will just take off from the field that don't want to compete, and then we'll put a giant X on the field, and the, the people can watch um, balloons fly in and score on the X. It's super fun. On Saturday. On sounds, Saturday. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So, uh, and we're moving the date, like we said, August 17th and 18th, because it's really the best time. It really is the best time weather-wise. Um, Balloon Federation of America did a study before they awarded us nationals, and that mid-August time frame is perfect weather for ballooning. So, we moved our dates this year to get people used to coming mid-August instead of Labor Day weekend. All right. Uh, there's some other changes as well. You're going to have a family fun pass, right? We are. We are charging this year. It's $10 for the whole weekend per family or carload. So if you want to gather up all your neighbors and you have a big van, you can yeah. split the cost. That'll help, yeah. too, a little bit. Carpooling will help. Yeah. Parking situations in both areas for the morning launches and then Five Rocks. But um, it's it gets you into both launches in the morning and then the nightclub as well. So that's good. So all that stuff. All that stuff. And you'll be able to purchase the Family Fun Pass at local retailers. And when I come back in August, I'll tell you where that is. All right. Yeah, so you're lining that all that up. That's, we are. That's good. And uh, she needs some other uh, help as well. We'll talk about that right after this. At First State Bank, we get it. Your life is busy and your time is valuable. So we have taken one to-do off of your list. We now offer mobile deposit capture of your checks within our mobile banking app. No more stops at the bank to make that deposit. Just endorse, click, deposit, and voila, done. It is that quick. Another reason when we say we are big on you, we mean it. First State Bank, member FDIC. All right, we are back on News Extra. Colleen Johnson is here to talk about Old West Balloon Fest on August 17th and 18th. And uh, the change is made, as Colleen just explained, because it's the best time around here to do balloon racing. And if you're going to have the Nationals in the next three years, you better do it when balloons can get up in the air. Right, when the weather's good. They have an um, Balloon Federation of America has an amazing weather team, and they do a lot of research. Um, and they've determined that the first two weeks, three weeks in August is the best time frame All right. for ballooning. Very good. Uh, you need volunteers. We do. We do. With the increased number of balloons, we're going to need more volunteers, um, people to help chase those balloonists, and then also to help with scoring. And some, some behind-the-scenes things, you know, um, safety and some things like that as well. So if you'd like to volunteer, you can go to theoldwestballoonfest.com and there's a volunteer uh, tab up on the far right-hand corner. You just click on that and fill out the form and you can fill out if you want to crew for one day or volunteer for one day, two days, or all three events, including the Nyclo. You can pick and choose what you'd like. All right. That'd be cool. And uh, usually you have a 
you don't have that much problem getting volunteers. No, the fire departments, um, Scotts Bluff, Gearing, Mitchell Morrill, and all of our local uh, fire um, and volunteer fire guys are just, uh, and yeah. gals, I should say, are wonderful yeah. um, about helping with the balloons. So Okay. Uh, sponsorships. Still well, available. Um, we're going to actually doing pretty good. On we it. are. We are doing great. We have a lot of wonderful sponsors. Um, KNEB is sponsoring the Night Glow, which we yeah. appreciate. Um, and you know, the thing is, we're we're doing a program this year, so we're going to have to cut off um, that time frame at end of June, so that we can get everybody's ad copy into the program. It'll be distributed through the Star Herald. And then we'll have the programs available at um, the night glow and the morning launches. The neat thing about the program is it'll have all the balloonists in there. So we're going to encourage the kids to go get balloon um, balloonist autographs in their programs. So the program's going to stick around for a while. And um, again, yeah, we'll have uh, the advertising for our sponsors in the program. All right. Once again, Colleen Johnson in today to uh, talk about the Balloon Fest, August 17th and 18th. You might want to put that on your calendar so you don't forget it's not September this year. It's in August. You have an official poster. We do. Right? We have an official poster. It's gorgeous. It's like an old rodeo poster. So it's really fun. And it's going to be a series um, of four posters. So it'll be this year through the end of Nationals. It's really fun. Uh, that's pretty good. And uh, 30 balloonists. We, when we get to nationals in a, the next three years after this, that ratchets up from that 30 to 35 this year to maybe double that, right? Well, um, at least 50, and that does not include, that's just the competing pilots. So it's 50 of the top competitors around the United States. And then we'll have our 20 to 30 balloonists on top of that that don't qualify that just want to come and and have fun and, just, and and fly like we always do yeah um but again we're we're adding competition this year even for even for those balloonists that don't normally compete so it'll be fun to watch yep and the night glow at five rocks again it'll be much like last year with uh same type of thing ki games for kids yeah kid kind of zone stuff. bouncy houses and all that stuff and um food vendors music um, we're trying to, to do local music this year, so we have um, County Road 20 and then another band, which I'm talking to right now. So. All right. And uh, they got one other thing they're going to do this year. They're going to do uh, an arts and crafts festival. There will be more about that maybe later on. Right in Mitchell. The Mitchell Area Chamber of Commerce is going to do a craft fair in downtown Mitchell after the balloons launch in the morning. So we'll have 30 to 40 crafters down in downtown Mitchell. All right going to be a big weekend august 17th and 18th so you better put it on your calendar right now and make sure you got it and uh, save about ten dollars so your family can go for the whole weekend it's not too hard saving ten dollars and uh yeah, it should be fun looking forward to it thank you i think mm -hmm. it will be yep doing a lot of good work here colleen johnson from uh, the uh, old west balloon fest don't forget August 17th and 18th. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.